Too much light. My blessed mess forsaken. These fairy tales are much too plain. So dull and dry, a lifeless dream. I'll do them bleak. I'll craft them dark to make them grim. That's my hallmark. My guts fill up with pretty tales. Their prissy cuteness never fails to make me puke. To lose my wits, to cut my teeth and give me fits. Now the rents is stale and foul. Despise the happy. This incredible tale of beauty and her beast would earn my highest recommendation were it more about bizarre enchantment and less about misguided love. Well, let's deal with it. The handsome family home is engulfed in flames. A grave cause for alarm, no? Everything's gone. The books, the furniture, the only portrait of Mama, my favorite stocking. Surely not the travels. I haven't had my tea. Luckily, I'm wearing my new pantaloons, and Father's ships are afloat. I suppose there must be a doubloon or two about. Good written then, and I wasn't that fond of Mama. Some losses are evidently easier to bear than others. Oh no, children! My entire fleet has been lost! We have ruined my fire, misadventure, and... and oh no! Pirates! Father made one ultimately futile attempt to recover a portion of his assets. On his return from the city, and because he couldn't find ice at the North Pole, he becomes hopelessly lost. These snow creatures are useless know-nothings. But you'd think the blasted horse could find his way home. Perhaps... I am the unluckiest man alive! Hungry, horseless, and cold, he stumbles into a castle. Incredibly, I state with prejudice, it's enchanted. Like a summer day, with flowering gardens, food, and surprise. I'll take a rose to beauty, my beautiful daughter. I ah, gave ah, you hideous. shelter. <laughs> Beast! I gave oh, you God. shelter. Mercy! <laughs> Shut your bloody pie hole. I gave you shelter from the storm, and you steal my flowers. But, 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 I could not imagine anyone would mind. Forget your butts. They will not save you from the death you deserve. The rose was for my daughter. Please, spare me! Hmm... On condition that you give me this precious daughter instead. Ah, uh, if I were cruel enough to buy my own life at her expense, what excuse? You are cruel enough. And coward too, I observe. Take this gold and bring your daughter back to me post haste. If you fail to obey, I'll fetch you and your end will become legend. Now father returns home with Beauty's rose and his asses loaded with the beast's gold. It appears a bitter ransom. To save my life, I've promised Beauty to a grotesque beast. He may kill her or subject her to more <gasps> unspeakable practices. <gasps> oh, does he have a beak? Fortune. He must be very rich. I'm sure he's not entirely horrible. Beauty, I have a scheme that needs a bit of funding. I wonder... I'm not totally ready to go, Father. Father delivers Beauty to the Beast, and she's less than terrified. Hmm, very interesting. After a cozy tour of the castle, she retires and falls asleep. And dreams. So 
weird. Like every night, I dream of a really hot prince who says I shouldn't trust appearances. What can it mean? Oh, brother, what is it about obviously enchanted beasts and castles that she doesn't understand? A long last. Do you mean to eat me now? No, beauty. I've come to ask you to marry me. Ew, no, beast. I mean, I bet you got a decent personality, but my heart belongs to. Uh, well, I mean, like you're just hideous, okay? Ah, beauty, you're so unkind. I fear I'm fated to be miserable all my days. Well, if it's fated, say la guerre or whatever. Can I go home to see my family? I promise to return. I cannot refuse you anything, but remember your promise, or you may have cause to repent it. For if you do not come back. I will surely die. Beauty's cafe has nice new digs. Purchased with the money secured by her attendance on a murderous beast. No matter, it's joy and cuddles all around. You must be tired from your journey, Beauty. Perhaps you'd like a nap. Nap? By all means, long nap. Did you bring more gold? To sleep, a chance to... Something or other. And every night she does dream, but not of the charming prince. Instead, she conjures up an image of the beast dying in his gut. <sighs> better go back to the beast. I may be in his will. Hmm. So she falls back asleep and wakes up back in the palace. Nice trick. When she finds the beast, he appears to have expired. He revives after Beauty douses him with water. Oh, beast, I think... I think I like... love you. Can you really love such an ugly creature? Oh, for sure. We could buy a really neat bag for your head. And the castle is big and there's lots of really nice stuff like... Will you spend your life with this ferocious beast? Well, one or two items in writing, and it's a done deal. Separate bedrooms might be best, and you'll stay out of sight when I have someone over. And like, don't bother my cat. You're frightened to death. Suddenly, the beast disappears, and in his place stands the prince of her dreams. Beauty's the only one who didn't see this coming. Please consent to be my wife. Wow, I consent. Do you have any brothers? I should meet my friends. I think they'd like really hit it off, you know. It took courage to redeem her father's pledge and to rescue the beast from his terrible enchantment. Still, I think she had some misgivings. They're alleged to have lived happily ever after. Double bleh. The quantity of puerile pap between the conflagration that began the tale and the premarital transformation with which it ended was enough to choke a hippopotamus. Need a drink to clear your throat? If so, play on. Beauty's house burns down and the family loses everything in it. Oh, it would break my tender heart if I had one. Let's incinerate the whole village. <laughs> Make it gross. Let's move. Stop! 
don't be good. Burn, baby, burn! Disco Inferno! Just one ship? Let's destroy the whole flotilla. Make it rotten. Father's search for his lost fortune was an utter failure. All he found was our cold. Too bad he escaped the pirate. Well, at least we can make it hoary. Make it gruesome.
stop it! Butt kicking good! Stop it! Chomp and stomp! Chomp and stomp! Does the lupine brain complain? Ah, Yeti again! Don't eat too fast, Wolfie. You'll get cramps. <laughs> Wanders up to an enchanted castle. What luck! May whatever he finds inside make short work of him. Make it nasty. Not only does Father find sweet summer in the middle of a winter storm, a warm meal appears before him. Oh, the power of magic! But he still looks chilled. Make it foul!
father is caught red-handed by the beast. The punishment for stealing roses? His daughter in exchange for his life. Doesn't seem bothered by the prospect, does he? Let's make him suffer. Make... Father returns home with riches and bad news. Beauty must go to the beast. Shouldn't she be angry, upset, hurt? I'd be pissed. Make it rotten. Ah! 
Is that a smile I see on her father's face? The bastard's just given his daughter to a monster! Let's show him what remorse should be. Make it. Don't... He looks remorseful, and he's roasting quite nicely. And I thought I had a lousy father. Beauty and the Beast, together at last. <sighs> What's happened here? She doesn't seem the least concerned at becoming his next meal. Next thing you know, they'll be rubbing noses. Blech! Make it rotten. Let's... Stump. 
Hardly cryptic. Rub it off on me! Ah, you're repulsive from a distance too! Beauty sleeps, dreaming of her family back home. Doesn't she look calm and quiet? That's right, too quiet. Let's give her some nightmares. Make it disgusting! the bed. <laughs> Beauty dreams of her family. This is too cute. Make it foul. Thank <laughs> you. 
I have another secret. Beauty returns home to much forced jollity. I hate such rejoicing. Let's crash this party. Is she dreaming again? A rich fantasy life is a fine thing, but like money, difficult to manage. Make it nasty.
thing. Into Never Never Land once again. Oh, let there be pirates! Beauty dreams of the dying beast. I say, let him pass and leave a desiccated corpse. Make it gross. and stump! been stumped.
<laughs> I thought that might wake her up. Beauty has an intrusive pang of conscience and decides to return before the beast dies. Bah! I already see where this is going, and I don't like it. Make it repulsive. Finds a prince hidden inside that beastly exterior. I think I liked him better before. Let's sour this before it becomes too sweet. Another wedding? Must there always be a wedding? Arg! Arg! Did I say arg? Aye, matey. We'll get the wedding. Let's set sail. Ahoy! Shiver me timbers. Walk the plank, you big bigot. Frig, hang him from the yard arm. <laughs> Friggin' in the rigging. <laughs> Ahoy! I'm off like a bride's nighty. So much for weddings. Ahoho! Make it vile. <laughs> Hardly cryptic. Now who's rancid? Grim's rancid now. Deprived of its proud status by deliciously malevolent acts of nature and men, Beauty and her family end up more than whole. Only someone with a well-developed sense of irony would welcome the family's precipitous descent into permanent poverty and deprivation! <laughs> Ooh, well, at least we caught each other. That lot of good that will do us. 
Can I eat you, drink you, read you, wear you on my back? I'll have to ride the pig to churn. Even the cat burned down. And my fleet's destroyed. Damn you, pirates! We might as well be dead! Dead! Father's skills at the bank or tavern count for nothing. Totally useless in the elements. He suspects the snow creatures are business rivals dressed in ermine. As long as they confine their depredations to underage workers, it's none of my affair. Perhaps I'll just crouch by the nearest tree and die. Fear of being consumed by ravenous wolves moved him toward a castle. A more sentient being would recognize this bizarre and unnatural abode as sinister and pass it by. That was some very nice blood sausage. A bit runny. And the head cheese was tolerable. Perhaps I'll have an orange or six. And I'll give this rose to Beauty, if she's washed my shirts and shoveled in the manure. <laughs> Holy shite! What the hell happened to your face? I mean, ah, don't kill me! <laughs> don't eat me! I mean, I, 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 I'm too young to die! Oh, I, I don't... <laughs> you are a fool and a thief and deserve to die on both counts. But if you bring me this child, Beauty, you may live to be a fool another day. That Beauty would take her father's place on the beast menu without a word of reproach or regret is simply incredible. Great idea, father. Beauty's young, probably quite tasty, has no children and no friends, really. Mm. Apparently worth a lot of gold. I'd be a bit sorry to see her go. She makes a decent shepherd's pie. I'm ready, father, you mealy-mouthed coward, scoundrel, and dumbass. A beast's company, even if short-lived, will be an improvement on this family. May you all contract plague and die horribly. Now there's a woman I could get next to. So Beauty was delivered up to the ferocious beast. She was terrified. And with good reason. I needed a change of underwear after I first met you. But you're not so dreadful for a grotesque man-eating beast. Still, I've been having the most vivid and peculiar dreams. You've nothing to fear from me. You are my salvation in this wicked world. And you're mine, evidently. Though they don't deserve it, my family may need my help. I laced their porridge with shards of broken glass when I left. Let me go. I shall return. I'm not sure that will work for me. You really don't have a choice. I'm already gone. Turns out her family was mainly interested in how much beastly gold she could get her hands on before the creature had her for dessert. Oh, Beauty, you're back alive. How droll. Did you bring anything good? Gold? Eh? What? No, brother. I didn't see the need. I thought you'd have expired from stomach problems by now. Pity. I had terrible distress in the lower tract for days. But I finally excreted it. Me too. I couldn't keep anything down. And there was blood in my stool. Oh, joy. Thank you, Father. I wasn't a total failure. Her useless family musings notwithstanding, <coughs> recurring nightmares eventually pointed her in a different direction. I've got to go back to the beast. Call me crazy. I can't do any more here. Thinking she'd lost all claims to the pleasures of the castle, Beauty was frantic. Fortunately, the beast had left some zombie elixir nearby, and she revived him on the spot. Not a minute too soon, I was beginning to stink. You are rank, but I've smelled worse. I did my father's laundry. Let's get married. Why not? I doubt you could do better than me. Put this over your head. Well, it's not my story after all. Don't blame me for the wedding, but it was a seemly affair. Same species and all, and her family, surely looking for another windfall of gold and movable goods, wasn't even invited. They were sold to the pirates. Serves them right.
when enchantments in the mix. It's sometimes hard to know where one's sympathies sit. Things worked out well for the prince, certainly. But I've always wondered if Beauty was a bit disappointed that she never spent a night with her beast. May all our stories end so well. Until next time. <laughs> Ha 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 ha.